stop it. I did not understand it, so I'm glad we agree on that. Now, as far as teams that had pretty darn good drafts, I felt the Baltimore Ravens had a great draft. I really like what the Cowboys did. But a couple of your videos, I also like what the Denver Broncos did, too. Those were probably the three teams I would say that had the best drafts. But you think the New York Jets had the best draft. And I would, I would categorize categorize their draft as very underrated. I'm not going to be mad if someone says that, they have a, that they're one of the five best winners of the draft because I think that Denzel Mims is a stud. To get him in the second round that late is kind of highway robbery in my opinion. Makai Becton has all the potential in the world. You really you mentioned Ashton Davis a little bit in your episodes, a guy that kind of failed has a lot of talent. And then you get to um the kid out of Virginia. I forget his name. Bryce Hall. No, yes, Bryce, Bryce Hall. Hall. Yeah, yeah Bryce yeah. Hall. So talk about what the Jets got as far as their draft picks, and do you think they had the best draft? Is that is that correct? I, I think they had, you know, a top three draft. Uh, you know, it's between them, Cleveland, and Denver for me in terms of who okay. had the best draft. Um, but when you look at who they started off, one, two, three, I mean, Mekhi Becton is a franchise left tackle from day one. I love everything about him. He's my second rated tackle in this draft, and they got him, I think he was the fourth tackle off the board, if I remember correctly. Or man, might have yep. been third, but you know it, it, he is an incredible talent. Uh, much better pass protector than he gets credit for. Not to mention being an absolutely monstrous run blocker. Uh, Denzel Mims, I did an episode on. I think he compares favorably to DeAndre Hopkins in terms of skill set. Uh, not quite the same ball skills, but still great ball skills. But he's got a little bit more vertical juice than Hopkins had coming out of Clemson. But in terms of play style, how they run routes, how they manipulate leverage, and physicality, and length, like they're basically the same guy in that regard. Uh, and then Ashton Davis in round three, the only reason he fell was, again, because of this virus, because he couldn't get a medical recheck uh, on his groin, which is fully healed. Um, you know, he, he would have been a first-round pick, in my opinion, if he was able to get a medical recheck after the combine, uh, where, he, where he got checked out on his groin. So it, it was unfortunate circumstances for him, but excellent for the Jets, because they got a first-round talent in the third round. You know, Bryce Hall, again, was a victim of, of not having any medical rechecks. He was probably a day two pick that the fifth. Jabari Zuniga, I think, is a really good get for them as a rotational edge player. Um, really just kind of an ass kicker against the run. I think he was a better player than his teammate Jonathan Grenard, who a lot of people mocked in the second round. I thought Zuniga was better than him coming out. So, you know, from top to bottom, everybody just pick after pick the Jets took. You know, they probably got six starters in, in this class, which is absurd to me to, to get that many starters and quality starters at that just an incredible haul by them yeah i agree i think that they had a pretty good draft no doubt thank you so much for watching this video today please also note that the juice Lurt sports podcast is not just a youtube channel it is available on all podcasting platforms including spotify google Podcasts, itunes and apple Podcasts. Also, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this content with all your friends. This podcast is my favorite thing in the entire world right now. It is my passion. And I want more people to listen to this podcast. I really want this podcast to grow. Also, a fun fact about me is that I want to go into the sports broadcasting and media world once I graduate from the University of Toledo, a college in Northern Ohio. I currently am a freshman there right now. I am looking to become one of the next great sports broadcasters and analysts out in the world. And I potentially would like to start my own network if this podcast really truly grows. Or if I fall short of that goal, I would love to work for a big time network like ESPN or Fox Sports 1. I am open to all networks. So if you believe in my dreams and you see or hear my passion through the screen, be sure to tell all your friends about the Juice Lurt Sports Podcast. Stay motivated, you guys. Have a God-blessed day, and I'm out.